Alright, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Sai, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Sai, Brock the Yahawa, Brock the Yahawa Sai, Baha Silver Hak with Das, one of your double honors to our apostles, a great millstone with well, and peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. On Zaha's spirit, when Judah of the Jemess Mississippi count, and what I want to go into is a lesson entitled She That Is My Enemy. All right, this is Michael 7 and 10. It says, Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is she? How will thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire of the streets. And I want to get that word enemy. All right, in the Muriel's Webster's Dictionary to get some context. All right. As far as his lesson is concerned, all right, this is the, the Miriam's Webster's Dictionary for the word enemy. It says, one that is antagonistic to another, especially one seeking to injure, overthrow, or confound an opponent. All right. And, and you know, we know, historically speaking, all right, that when Esau, um, quote unquote, liberated our women through the, um, the feminist movement, all right? He took them out of the domestic position and made them our opponent because now we're both competing for a job, all right? We're both competing for a dominant position, all right? She became your opponent when she became, quote unquote, liberated from you, all right? She went from being your help me to your opponent, okay? But furthermore, she wants to overthrow you. Well, let's get some proof, all right? <clears throat> This is her story, right? And this is a segment from the Black Lives Matter, Matter website, all right? And these are the founders, okay? All right, but ultimately it's ran by a fake Jew, okay? Because anytime when it comes to the, 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 the focus on the so-called Black, Hispanic, and Native American man, that's really the culprit is really a fake Jew, an Edomite. All right, but I'm just going to get to the point. It says, as organizers who work, who work with everyday people, BLM members see and understand significant gaps in movement spaces and leadership. Black liberation movements in this country have created room, space, and leadership mostly for black, heterosexual, cisgender men. All right, so what these women are saying is that prior to the Black Lives Matter movement, all the other movements only focused on so-called black straight men, all right? Leaving women, queer, and transgender people and others out of the movement or in the background to move the work forward with little or no recognition. As a network, we have always recognized the need to center the leadership of women and queer and trans people, all right? So this is how I'm reading this. They want to center the leadership of women and queer and trans people to maximize our movement muscle. So they want to center the leadership and scripturally speaking, pursuant to 1 Corinthians 11, the man is the head of the household. So they want to center the leadership. Essentially, they want to what? They want to overthrow you. Okay. If she wants to center your leadership, that means that she wants to overthrow you. Okay? Let me go back to that word enemy. All right? See, Esau is a serpent. All right? He's using this movement to bring in other ideologies, man. All right? First of all, women were never oppressed. All right? They were never overlooked, per se. Because if you help the so-called black man... He's the head of the household. Then you help his whole family, including his woman. Okay. It says enemy, especially seeking to injure, overthrow. And that's what this movement is cunningly devising to do. All right. I'm going to get back to the main point. It says as a network, we have always recognized the need to center the leadership of women and queer and trans people to maximize our movement muscle and to be intentional about not replicating harmful practices that exclude so many and past movements for liberation. We made a move, we, a, 
we made a commitment to placing those at the margins closer to the center. All right. So their center is going to be women and homosexuals, man, which if they move them to the center, all right, and us to the back, then essentially they're overthrowing us, man. All right. When you make a when you liberate a woman, all right, you're overthrowing her man as the head. All right. And then when she gets to compete for the same job as you do, that's your opponent. So when the scripture says she that is my enemy, a woman who wants to overthrow you or doesn't see you at first as a leader, she is your enemy. A woman who doesn't perceive you as a leader, that is your enemy. All right. A woman who doesn't believe she has to be submissive to you, that is your enemy. All right. A woman that ultimately wants your position. Hey, she's your enemy. These women wearing pants. That pants is like projecting masculine energy, man. Those pants, when women wear pants, it's like you're projecting masculine energy. That woman wants to compete with you, man. She she wants to be you, man. All right? Studs, those, those are your enemies, man. Hell, feminine lesbians, those are your enemies because they'd rather be with a fake man than a real man. All right? Those are your fucking enemies, man. All right? And she that is my enemy. A woman that would rather have welfare all right, than a man in the household, that's your enemy. All right, a woman that's not loyal, that's that's your that's your enemy. Uh, you know they're your enemy when a frame of reference of a so-called black man is nigga. Nigga this, nigga that. See, y'all niggas, see my nigga, these niggas, hey, that's your enemy. She has contentment when she thinks of you, man. All right? I'm sorry, she has contempt. She has contentment. What she thinks of you, man. All right? But, I mean, that's pretty much the point. All right? Going back to uh, Micah 7 and 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it, and shame shall cover her, which said unto me, Where is Yahweh thy power? My eyes shall behold her. Now shall she be trodden down as the mire in the streets. With that, I hope you brothers and sisters were edified. Once again, I want to give all and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakha, Kodash. I also want to give double honors to our apostles, the great millstone, we will. Peace and blessings to the house of David the elect. With that, I bow with Baal and call me Asha'Allah, Shalom.